My mother was one of the most wonderful women and one of the most special women, of course, in my life. <clears throat> she had many talents. She could play a guitar and she could sing. And almost every day when we would come home from school, she would sit down with us and get out the guitar. and She would sing uh, country songs to us. But she was also a very, very talented uh, rifle and pistol woman. She could shoot a gun and rarely ever missed the target. In fact, we'd go out in the backyard sometimes and my dad would throw cans up in the air and she would take her rifle and she would shoot those cans and she just never missed. She was uh, Annie Oakley almost. And so uh, uh, we were, we felt pretty safe because our mother and our dad were good shots with the rifle. Now they never let us shoot because the and children shouldn't play with guns and probably shouldn't even shoot guns. So, uh, but uh, <clears throat> we lived out in the country and next door to us lived a, a family, the Cisco family. And there was a boy, a big boy, 15 year old boy named Buddy Cisco. And if you look back into the stories that I've told, you'll see a story about Buddy Cisco. And you'll find out just how mean he was when he put me and my brother in the well house. But this is a different story. And uh, my dad had gone off to a National Guard camp for two weeks in the summer. And so Buddy Cisco thought this would be a good time to come over and try to scare us and try to scare my mother. And so it was in the summertime, of course, and we had the windows down. We, had, we didn't have air conditioning, and so what we would do is we would pull the top window down about a foot or two, and then we'd raise the bottom window up a foot or two. That way the air could kind of circulate through the house and keep it a little bit cooler. It wasn't cool, really, just uh, kind of keep it where we could bear it. And uh, so we were getting ready for bed. In fact, we'd already gotten in bed, and all of a sudden we heard something scratching on the screen, the, the window screen, and going, ooh, ooh. Well, of course, my brother and I just nearly passed out. We were scared nearly to death, and we said, Mama, Mama, something's at the window. And so my mother came into our bedroom, and she listened, and that scratching on the window, ooh, ooh, and she said to us, she said, boys, don't be afraid. I said, that's Buddy Cisco. He's just trying to scare us. And I said, well, it's working. It's scaring me. And she said, well, just a minute. And she reached over and went, went in the other room, came back a few minutes with her pistol in her hand. And she said, Buddy Cisco, I know that you, and I know you're trying to scare us. And he, we heard somebody kind of laughing a little bit. <laughs> and he scratched on the window again. Ooh. She said, all right, buddy. She said, uh, I'm going to shoot two shots. And the first bullet, I'm going to shoot through the top of the window and over your head. And the second bullet, I'm going to shoot you with it. And he laughed again. <laughs> Ooh. And all of a sudden, my mother raised that pistol up, and she shot over the uh, over his head, of course, shoot through the top window. Bang! And all of a sudden, Buddy Cisco began to scream, No, oh, Miss Mabel, don't shoot me, don't shoot me! And he took off running, and we could just hear his voice trailing off as he ran across the, the patch to his house. And uh, my brother and I laughed, and from that time on, we said, We know we'll feel pretty safe in our house, and we'll know that my mother will protect us, even if our dad's not here. And Buddy Cisco learned a lesson that day, too. He learned that you don't try to scare people unless you're prepared to face some pretty serious consequences.